Hello everyone, this is Reza. In this video, I will show you a really neat trick on how to merge scale A, X, Y, and Z for your rig. This technique can be applied to any attributes. For example, you can apply that to your translate channels or to your rotation channels if need be. But Mostly for many rigs, proportional scaling is a thing and you want to do it. You don't want to have individual control over X, Y, and Z because that obviously creates distortion. Yet what you will be given or you'll be offered inside Maya is three channels. Now in this video, we're going to learn how to unify that into one channel and how to rename it using a one line script. Now, in order to combine, all I need to do is just to select the global control. Now, to access Node Editor, I go to Windows and Node Editor. If you have any existing file, you can go in here and wipe them. It doesn't delete it from the scene, it just cleans the work area. It's amazing to see how much you can get done using simple Node Editor. Now, I need to make sure that I have access to global GRP, drag and drop it here, and it brings the curve as well. We don't need the curve, we just need the group node. I can press three or click on the third bar here to expand, so I have access to scale. Now, it doesn't matter which channel you nominate, you nominate one channel and you tie the other two channels to that channel. Let's say we are going to nominate scale Y. So we select the output of scale Y and we say control scale X, like so. And we do the same thing for scale Z. We say output scale Y controls the input of scale Z. Now if I minimize, you can see that now scale X and Z are yellow meaning that they're tied to an attribute and that attribute is scale y so if i just select scale y you can see i can easily scale the entire rig now you may say well reza can we just select these two and lock and hide absolutely but the problem i have is it's still called scale y there is no way that you guys go into, for example, attribute editor to be able to change it. It's not a custom attribute. And as a result of that, you don't have control over the naming of it until you use a simple line of Python. So let's see how we can achieve that. We are going to select the script editor. Make sure you have Python selected if you want to. Um, create a new one. You can always click on that plus button and choose Python. I already have one ready to go. And you import commands by typing from Maya import CMDS to import commands. And the command that you are going to use is alias ATTR for attribute and that is in charge of renaming any attribute that you have now first things first you need to say what you would like to name it I would like to name it scale period and you put that in double quote saying that it's a string it's not float it's not a value it's a string and then comma followed by the naming the address basically the naming of the control and channel that you're targeting my naming is called global underscore grp dot and dot means go one level lower and target the channel that you have and that you can just write down the name of the channel or you just can say s Y for scale Y and that applies to other translate channels as well. For example, you can say R X meaning rotate X or T Z translate Z. That's all you need to do. Now remember, I need to close the string as well because I opened it. It needs to turn yellow. 
now Maya understands that this is not a value but a string you select both lines right click and before I execute just look at that scale Y so you right click and you go execute and you can see now we successfully renamed a native transformation attribute inside Maya using a simple code now it's very easy to understand for animators that all right we've got one scale attribute for this guy and if you press R on your keyboard you can see we have only translate Y and the middle one but it doesn't matter even if you use translate Y it's just going to resize the entire rig proportionately something to impress your animators i hope you find this video useful and hope to see you in the next one